hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. It's Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we are talking Love and Marriage Huntsville. Today we are talking Phonics Unhooked because she is unraveling because people want to black out tomorrow's episode, you guys. She is calling out once again Melody Sheree and Melody Sheree's mother, Van, and trying to paint these narratives, even calling out her niece too, Kiki, because apparently she is unhappy that Melody Cherie, her mother Van, and Kiki all have fan bases, you guys. Apparently, they are not allowed to have people supporting them, you guys. Make it make sense. Like, how can you get on a live and tell people that you and a certain group of people are the only people in the cast that are being truthful, that are being transparent, when we can definitely pinpoint when there have been half-truths and blatant lies told on other people, including, I don't know, the recent fight that just aired as a result of you lying about the paternity of Melody Cherie's youngest child. So how can you say that you are being transparent when you are regurgitating rumors that you do not have factual information is to be true and kids are supposed to be off limits, but you keep talking about the whole kids? How is that being transparent? And all of this stems from the fact that you are upset that Melody Cherie is not getting along with your daughter. Like, seriously, you cannot bully people into liking your daughter, liking the people that you are, quote, cool with. And if they do not agree or succumb to that, now they're the problem. Now they need to be called out. Now they need to be sued. And fans shouldn't have a right to choose to not watch the show if they feel that the show has gone downhill, you guys. Apparently, we're not allowed. But the interesting part is also in the same live, Phonics Unhooked is also saying in the event that she is no longer on the show, she still wants you to tune in, you guys. I was, like, I was like, what is that supposed to mean? Like, is your future on the show in jeopardy? Like, what does it mean? What are we going to see at the reunion that you have to even make a statement like that? But you're so concerned about Melody Cherie. You're so concerned about her mother, Van. You're so concerned about Kiki and how well that they're liked and how much the fans go hard in the paint for them. And here's the thing. You have your fan base. Nobody attacks your fan base at all or anybody that supports you anybody that supports tisha anybody that supports marceau or maurice or kimmy or whoever here's the thing we are here to give an opinion you guys we are here to give an opinion we are here to react some things you are not going to like what we say but what we're not doing is we're not spreading fake news you guys we are not spreading fake news we are simply reacting to what is being presented to us on both the episodes and on your daily lives that you guys do. And calling out the fact that you did not own your behavior, calling out the fact that you blatantly spread a lie about somebody is not being transparent with the people. I'm, I'm sorry, it's not. It is not being transparent with the people, you guys. And here's the thing. We are supportive of the cast, you guys. We are supportive of the cast until said cast member gives us a reason to no longer support them. Phonics Unhooked, you keep forgetting when you first came on the show, actually a lot of people loved you because you called out Marceau and his BS, you guys. That is why people tuned in. But then you started to make your entire existence on the show now to be the mouthpiece for all of the people that Leticia is no longer getting along with and to say the things that she's scared to say on camera so that she doesn't look bad. Now you're the person that is going off on Kimmy instead of Leticia confronting Kimmy about whatever her issue is. You're the one who is now confronting Melody Cherie about all of the laundry list of things. And now you're going personal. You're doing personal attacks and personal lies against her and her family now for a storyline and not addressing what the real issues at hand are. And I just do not understand the audacity to treat somebody that gave you this opportunity to be on the show in the first place, that this is how you repay them. That you repay them by going on these lies and slandering them every single day. Make it make sense, you guys. And now you're concerned about whether or not people choose to black out the show. 
when you do not want to take accountability for your behavior? How can you be transparent and justify being mean to people and spreading lies about people? How is that being transparent? How is bullying people being transparent? How is saying that there's something wrong with you if you support Melody Cherie, if you support her mother Van, if you support Kiki, that there's an issue with you and you need to be sued? How is that being transparent? On a show that Melody Cherie is responsible for you being on. And is the same person who is responsible for your daughter and her husband to be on the show. How is how, how could she not be more transparent, giving all of you guys an opportunity and all you guys want to do is take her down? All you guys want to do is embarrass and humiliate her on national television because you are upset that she's popular. You're upset that fans like her. You're upset that fans resonate with Melody Cherie. And so you think that if you continue to hate on her, if you continue to slander her, if you continue to tell lies on her, and then you start to take it further and go personal and go against her kids and go against all of these attacks that you have no basis of knowing the truth on, that that is somehow going to change the outcome. That that is somehow going to make the fans all of a sudden not want to deal with Melody Cherie when all it does is galvanizes her fan base even more. It gives Melody Cherie all of the blessings as a result of your obsession and your negativity with Melody Cherie. Why are you guys obsessed with her? Why, if you were so transparent, why do you not have a storyline that focuses on your own life and your own accomplishments and your own achievements? Why is the subject always about Melody Cherie and what Melody Cherie is or isn't doing? Why is that the focus? What is going on in your life? What is going on in your life? What is going on in your life with your daughter and your daughter's husband and everything else? What is going on there? Oh yeah, we had episodes about that and it didn't go well, right? It didn't go well, so now it is back to bashing Melody Cherie. So, so, see, so see what happens when you have somebody like Kiki who was willing to be transparent about what's really going on in your family. It became a problem. It became a problem, so you guys went back to the jugular and attacked Melody Cherie and her family. And now you're bringing on other people who have been on social media the past couple of years who went from airing out their own family and calling their own siblings cheaters to now for a check willing to go on the show to also slander Melody Cherie's family. Make it make sense. So what is the truth? What is the truth? All of the lives that you did season one where you called your siblings cheaters and that there was overlap and that your own siblings were not being transparent about their stories but now we are supposed to believe that you are going to go on a show tomorrow and completely slander melody sheree's mother but you want to talk about transparency transparency is being honest at all times even if it is something that makes you look bad even if it's something that forces you to hold yourself accountable Transparency is not playing the blame game. Transparency is not, you know, playing victim. Transparency is not naming all of these people that you do not like to deflect off of your bad behavior. That is not being transparent. Transparency means you are being completely authentic at all times. And you are not blatantly lying to get camera time or for a storyline or to get, you know, some sort of an attention from fans or from people who don't like the person that you have beef with. That, that's not transparency. That is not transparency at all. Transparency is being your true, authentic self. What is it about Melody Cherie she's not being transparent about? Um, did her husband not have an affair on her? Did she not get in a divorce from Martel? Is that not being transparent enough? Like, I don't understand. I do not understand. And it's funny because you guys have said so much stuff about Melody Sheree and her family that she has kept quiet, that she has not responded to. And the one time she does respond, you guys are like, oh, 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 it's a problem. Oh, it's a problem. You know, why does she have fans? They need to be sued and blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. She gave you guys a lot of grace, a lot of grace for a very long time. And you guys ran off at the mouth saying anything and everything and she kept it quiet and she kept it cute and she kept it on mute. And finally when she wants to respond, it's a problem. 
And she's the one that gave you guys this opportunity. She's the one that had the meeting with the 10 couples at her house at the time about this show, about auditioning for the show, about what the show was looking for. And you guys sabotage Kiki from being on that first season because you wanted it to just be your daughter and her husband. And then you came on the show to specifically call out her husband. And then, like I said, you branched off to now being the person that calls out everybody else except for your daughter handling her own issues and handling her own business. So we can talk about transparency, but I need everybody to be transparent that is discussing transparency. If you're going to preach to the choir about transparency and you're not being transparent yourself, it's hard to take you seriously. I'm sorry. Hard to take you seriously. Um, so there is that. Um, but that was all I could tune in for you guys. Like I said, there's, I can only take that stuff in doses and I heard enough. I saw enough and I was like, you know what? There, there's not, there's like, like, this is just a joke. This is just a joke. You cannot. And so, and then the moral of the story at the bottom at the end or whatever was essentially she wants you to record the episode tomorrow to stream the episode in any way shape or form to watch more slander and lies and people not being transparent on the show tomorrow um so <laughs> there is that um but let me know what your guys' thoughts are what do you guys think of phonics unhook completely you know upset with people who are fans of melody sheree people who are fans of her mother van people who are fans of her niece kiki and want you to boycott them and not the show you guys <laughs> and wants to sue people who support melody sheree her mom van and kiki you guys um because apparently that is an issue you know but i thought you guys were an ensemble cast you guys i thought you guys were an ensemble cast and and here we have somebody blatantly um disrespecting the person who is even responsible for you being on the show in the first place make it make sense you guys make it make sense um so there is that let me know your guys thoughts in the comments please do not forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment i post the content on my channel and with that being said i'll talk to you guys again very soon